Flash, you will be next up here in round number two. You're going to Christmas Day and a game that strikes you in Los Angeles here. What do you like about this matchup with the Rams, who've been floundering, and the Denver Broncos for Three Dog Thursday purposes? Yeah, because they're dogs. They're both dogs, so I thought it might be the right place to, uh, right show to put them on. But the thing is, home field advantage on Christmas Day. Baker Mayfield, I've not got a, on scoring points. I think it's going to come down to uh, the Broncos' D. Um, and, and obviously, I, you can't legislate for the D putting up points. Uh, I can't trust them to put up points. Let me put it this way. The total's at 36. That tells you something straight away. I think the Rams being a dog at home tells me that they would have been a minus or plus three, plus three and a half away from home. So Correct. I cannot have that. I cannot have a team going into the Super Bowl champs on Christmas Day. Forget about everything that's gone on because, yes, they've looked dodge. They've lost certain weapons. But the Broncos cannot put up points. The Broncos have a, a decent D, but that doesn't matter because we're not talking about a high-octane offense from the Rams. I'm just going with the numbers for me are wrong. They're plus 121 on the money line. They're plus one to plus two and a half. I just see this being so, so tight. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is like a 16, 13, 17, 13 game. And when I'm looking at numbers that are so, so small, I've got to go with a home field advantage. All right, fair enough. And Kyle, in this case, the Rams on a shorter week, having played Monday Night Football, but, I mean, the Broncos, in this instance, they, they played well at home against the Cardinals, but the Cardinals are an absolute mess. Uh, so, But, I mean, they, they scored 24 points in that game. But you look at, at previous matchups where they, they got uh, nine points against the Ravens, they got 10 points against the Panthers. This is with Russell Wilson. We don't know if Russell Wilson's going to be able to play. If he clears concussion protocol, we're midweek here, he should be able to play. If not, it's Brett Ripien again. Kyle, give, give me a quick thought here. This is Christmas afternoon, uh, and whether or not the Rams and the Broncos has any redeeming value at all. Fla Flash says, give me the Rams at the point. Uh, Kyle, any quick thought here? Well, I just look, Russ looks like he's a full go, so he's going to play. So I guess that helps, right? Because Brett Rippon put up more points than Russ has put up all year long. I still believe there's more bathrooms in Russell Wilson's house than touchdown passes that he's thrown, which is just <laughs> unbelievable. I like it's, that. It's true. I believe it's true. I actually think there's 12 bathrooms right. in his house and he's thrown a lot. I think it's actually true. There are if more he's bathrooms. he's got a half dozen bathrooms, that seems like it's more than the touchdown passes. I yeah. would agree with you. Yeah. So, but look, it's tough. Baker Mayfield now, he's only been with the team a week and a half. We sort of saw the limitations, right? We saw the weird thing on Monday night and he comes back and it looks weird. And then we see the limitations on Monday night and they get trounced by Green Bay it's a tougher defense you're going to face this week in Denver. I think Flash is absolutely right. Super low scoring here. They're going to have to be able to run the ball. Cam Akers is starting sure. to look a little better. It'd be nice if Aaron Donald came back. The one good thing, you're going to have Jalen Ramsey out there sort of disrupting the number one target, Jerry Judy. He, he's he been sort of following guys around. He wasn't doing that earlier. He's kind of sitting in the slot, which is kind of interesting. Now, as you look around, he's played in the slot 21% of his routes, he's starting to shadow a little bit. Could get Cortland Sutton back for Denver. This one was another one that was close to making my list when it was a two and a half. But I that Denver defense scares me a little bit. Uh, gotcha. It, uh, Flash is taking some 50 50s. It's going to be a hey, dicey week for but when Baker Flash Mayfield is back next is, week. Look, he's going to have feathers behind him. He's going to be crawling. Oh, yeah. Like well, but Baker Mayfield is back at home, too, for my man Flash. Right. And he played very well in the fourth quarter at home in the comeback against the Raiders. Right. Let's see if they settle in. Somebody's got to win this game on Christmas Day. And Flash, Gordon on Three Dog Thursday says, Hey, Give me the LA Field Rams. Possession as well, gentlemen, I think field position will be that the uh, the Rams will get to the QB because of the offensive line of the Broncos. The Broncos' strength is their D. That's the mm -hmm. only reason they've kept games tight because they do spew up fumbles. They do spew up interceptions. And if you're going to give on Christmas Day uh, to a home side, they will capitalize. It might be that they only reach, I don't know, 16, 17 points, three field goals, one touchdown, and that will be enough against this Broncos yeah. unit. It seems like it has been in the past. All right. <laughs>